It's common to want to apply a modifier only when a certain condition is met. In SwiftUI, the easiest way to do that is often with the ternary conditional operator. As a reminder, this works by outlining some kind of condition and then using a question mark and a colon. So we have our condition and a question mark, a true value, then a colon and our false value. If you forget this order a lot, I recommend you remember Scott Michaud's helpful mnemonic, which is WTF, and it breaks down as what do you want to check, the condition you're checking, a true value, and then a false value, WTF, what, true, false. For example, if in your code you had a property that could be either true or false, and you wanna use that to control the foreground of a button, you might say something like this, at state, private var, use red text equals false. False even, there we go. Inside here we'll say, there's a button saying hello world. And this will flip the Boolean between true and false whenever it's pressed by saying use red text dot toggle. We can now attach a foreground modifier here saying if use red text is true, then send back dot red, otherwise send back dot blue. So the foreground color will either be red or blue depending on the value of use red text. So it's blue right now, and now it's red, now it's blue, and so forth, like that. Now because SwiftUI automatically watches all its at state properties for changes, and it will re-invoke the body property when one of them changes, the color will immediately and automatically update. Now you can often use regular if conditions to return different views based on some state, but this actually creates more work for SwiftUI. Rather than seeing one button with two different colors, it'll now see two different buttons. And so when we flip the Boolean condition, it might destroy one to create the other. And so if instead we had slightly different color, let's say we had a uh, if use red text, then apply this lot of modifiers. I'll just say immediately dot red. Otherwise, let's do dot blue. I mean, this code looks the same, right? And it, it works the same. It'll do exactly the same thing when it's played back. So it's, it's blue, then it's red, blue, red, and so forth. It's the same kind of thing when it's happening, but it's more work for SwiftUI. We've now got two different buttons to show and hide, so it's creating and destroying them as it goes. Now, sometimes using if statements are unavoidable, but if possible, prefer to use the ternary conditional operator.